Chesapeake Bay's vital signs are showing a little more vitality. Alex Dimitri reports on the Bay's latest health checkup. Every two years, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation gives the Bay a checkup. The latest results out today rates the Bay's health index at 34 or a C minus. A C minus is not a great grade, at least my mom never said it was. But we're getting better, we're going in the right direction. That direction shows a climb from dangerously out of balance toward improving, with 70 representing a saved bay. And that's what we got to keep up the momentum. But pollution continues to flow down the Susquehanna from Pennsylvania in the form of animal waste and farm fertilizer. Other waterways carry similar pollutants off urban streets and lawns, all of it feeding the algae blooms that become the bay's dead zones. Oysters also remain far from recovered. On the plus side, the crab population continues to rebound, and with major upgrades to sewage treatment plants, water quality and clarity have improved in the bay. The past couple of years, the bay has caught a break from the weather. No massive storms means less rain fell, reducing the runoff that carries pollution off the land. But it's not as if we've had a number of drought years, so I think the gains are real. Uh, I'm an optimist, but I think we're seeing real systemic improvement. Alex Dimitri, WJZ, Eyewitness News. Six states and Washington, D.C. make up the Bay's watershed with 18 million of us impacting the Chesapeake.